Even SpaceX CEO Elon Musk was not sure the Falcon Heavy's first flight would go as smoothly as it did. I didn't really think this would work. Um, because when I see the rocket lift off, I see like a thousand things that that could not work, and it's amazing when they do. The Falcon Heavy's 27 rocket engines can carry as much as 64 tons of payload way beyond the low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station and most satellites circle our planet. Its next launch is scheduled for June, and it is not yet known what its payload will be, except for one piece of cutting-edge technology, the new Deep Space Atomic Clock built by NASA. It is now undergoing tests at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. John Lowe is a scientist at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which also builds atomic clocks. Time is distance. And so if you have an atomic clock in space, it's, it's an aid to your navigational uh, uh, process. And so the better the clock, the better you can use it for your navigation. According to NASA, the deep space atomic clock is expected to lose not more than seven millionths of a second during a decade. Smaller than a microwave oven, it is specially built for harsh space environment. Earthbound atomic clocks precisely measure how long it takes for a radio signal to travel between the Earth and the spacecraft. This allows ground controllers to tell astronauts where they are and where to go next. An atomic clock positioned closer to their spaceship will help astronauts navigate without having to wait for signals from the Earth. I think pretty much every deep space uh, mission will probably have an atomic clock on it from here on out. NASA engineers say in the future they will build even smaller space atomic clocks that could also help improve the satellite-based global positioning system. George Putich, VOA News.